Rolling. Hi, this is T.H. Culhane from Solar Cities, connecting community catalyst integrating technologies for industrial ecology solutions, a nonprofit organization that tries to spread the gospel of biogas around the world because we believe it's the most simple, effective, and elegant solution for handling our wastes, for taking care of pollution, for producing clean, reliable, renewable energy, and for having great times with our fellow human beings and microbiomes. I'm here with some of the most incredible human beings and their microbiomes that I've ever met. My good friends here at Echo Gas Israel in the village of, and I'm not going to pronounce this right, Mech Mechmot. Mechmot, and uh, Yair Teller, who's been a very good friend of mine for years now, uh, has brought me to this wonderful, what feels like a second family, uh, my brothers here at Echo Gas Israel. And uh, love you guys to tell me about this incredible invention that you've made, this appliancization of biogas that the world has been wanting and needing for literally thousands of years. Um, and you've done it. You've, you've, you've brought this now to the market. You've made something and are continually improving, something that can make any home, any family in the world, rich, poor, middle class, everybody. There's a solution for everybody here in your garden of delights. Can you tell us about this one? So this system is um, it's a home uh, biogas system. It treats mostly uh, food waste. You can also put in some animal waste if you want, but it's uh, for um, um, treating food waste. In this uh, system, we have a standalone system. It's like out in the garden or in your house as, a, as an island, cooking island. Um, you have the faucet, you have the food grinder, and you have the digester. This is the digester. Uh, in here, you just throw in your food waste. If after you're cooking, right? After you cook, mm, very good. We throw it in, and you um, operate the digester. Finished. Then uh, we have, uh, if you want to see here, I'll turn it to you. This is the uh, uh, shows you indicator for the gas. Um, the system actually produced now a uh, gas. We have here 50 millibars of uh, gas. This is equivalent more or less for two hours of uh, cooking in this uh, small system uh, in a very good pressure. Uh, normal uh, house pressure is about uh, 40 millibars. Um, that's it. And then this here is to push the food down. There's an, uh, an auger or a, a this screw. Is, this is a, a hand if you uh, want a hand one, or you can use a pump uh, system also. Depends what you want. It wouldn't matter if you had electricity or not because you've got a hand grinder, yeah. you've got an electric grinder, and the stove is right there so you can cook, chop, clean, cook, everything all in one unit. And I. Before we get on to what you do with the fertilizer that comes out, I'd love to uh, introduce the rest of the team and say what you guys do. Hello, I'm Oshik. I'm uh, on the technology side. <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Yariv Miller. I'm also uh, a product manager in the company doing uh, the home biogas system. This is right. Hello, I'm Erez and I'm in uh, finance and management. So the incredible end, of course, you can turn the camera around. Hi, I'm Tal. I'm also a product manager in the, in the company. I'm part of this uh, beautiful group of biogas uh, engineers. <laughs> and behind you, there is another piece of the beautiful story. Oh yeah, this one is... Uh, Actually, it's an aquaponic system that is uh, connected to uh, the drainage of the, uh, of the home biogas. And you can see the beautiful uh, plants that are here. They are actually being fed from our digester. And beautiful, delicious uh, attachment to the home biogas system. So what you're showing families is that you can grow your food eat your food, grind the food, produce the gas to cook your food so that you can get the fertilizer to grow your food, 
to eat your food, to grind your food, to produce the gas, to cook your food, to grow your food, in an endless cycle that uh, is perpetual. It's almost like a perpetual motion machine, of course, using the sun as its driving source of energy. So it is a form of... You could then claim that this is the most efficient and easy to use form of solar energy that almost anybody in the world could do because they all have food waste or animal waste, toilet waste. So this would be the solar solution. And that's why in our NGO, Solar Cities, why we began to get into biogas uh, half a decade ago, because we saw that the intermittency problem that solar and its derivatives, wind and hydropower, that intermittency problem never occurred with biogas, that the photosynthesis that plants did capturing the sun's light was constantly going on and that biogas is a better battery than battery storage. So I think, uh, I think everybody who loves solar energy should now come to Echogas Israel and this would be the solar future. They'd be coming to you to get their home biogas units and then they could say, we have solar power in our house. We have Echogas solar power. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And you had an innovative thing going on here because some people are concerned about the fertilizer smelling as it comes out. Well, we know it doesn't smell. How did you make sure that nothing smelled at all? You, uh, we have a small um, um, fish uh, bubbling uh, oxygen system. You can uh, hook it up uh, uh, also to a little solar panel if you want, or this system take maybe less than a uh, half a watt or even less if you want or you can just a small uh, small tiny plate a solar plate will uh, will also